Hello everyone, today I'm going to review my student's game. My student said this game was so terrible, but I don't think so. The opponent plays so well, so um, I think um, my student doesn't need to be disappointed. My student is white. When there is 3-5 point, the easiest way to deal with this point is invading at the 3-3. If black covers, then white can attach here first, and then this is Joseki. The reason why white doesn't play Atari first is instead of this shape, this is much better, right? So, I mean, after this exchange, white is not gonna cut from this side. This shape is much better for white. Black has an empty triangle. So that's why playing Hane without this Atari is good. This is Joseki. If black extends, then white can push and then jump. The reason why 3-3 three, three is good is if white plays here, black can play this kind of complicated joseki. This is the actual game. This is double approach joseki. Black played away. Now white went to the upper left corner, but um, if white want to play on this side first, this is the right move. Or white can pincer from this side, because for white, this is sente. White is not gonna play this move immediately, but I mean, there is this cutting point, so black cannot aim at this cutting point easily. So if we suppose there is this stone, white can attack this stone like this, right? Or white can cover here and then block this side. This is very good shape. So this move is very important. I showed the local variation, but I think uh, when white played this move, I think white should answer here. This is so important for both players, because the actual game, when white played on the upper left corner, black covered here. It's so nice. Now I tried to leave inside, but um, white is sealed in, so... I think uh, at this point, white started being behind. White can play here. If black goes here, white can settle down on the corner. If black goes here, I think white can play away now. Or white can play on the corner like this. Yeah, I think this is safer. This was so good. This is the actual game. White tried to live inside, but um, it is so cramped. I played here, but with this move, white could have extended here. This exchange is good itself, and now white can split the left side. Now that white has done here, white can attack this group more severely. And for the corner, white is ready to sacrifice. This is a bit um, high level tactic, but um, now the situation is uh, not that easy for white. That's why white should think about this kind of high level tactic. I mean, if white had played here, the game would have been much easier. This is the actual game. White saved the corner, but uh, this one stone captured by this ladder, it was very thick. White approaches from the lower right corner. At this corner, uh, my student was mistaken something. White played here, but uh, white need this exchange. And then if black plays this Atari, and then white can play this tiger's mouse, then this is a core shape. So now I can play Atari on this side. The actual game, probably um, my student forgot to play here. This is the actual game. 
I think still this Atari is available. Yeah, why can um play on the left side as a core thread, and then if I can force black to play here, then this goes back to the previous variation. But my student played Atari on this side, and the sequence went like this. Why should have this exchange, right? This is good for black, of course. I mean, um, black plays so well. I don't see any mistake of black. Yeah, I don't think he's too done. This is the actual game. White has no base, but um, black is connected and black has lots of territory. So black is leading by a lot. After this, my student played this move, but um, I think white could have played on this side. There is this cut. Black cannot play Atari on this side because um, this group is in danger. So if black plays like this, then white can fight. Yeah, I'm not sure, but um, black cannot make two separate dice easily. So I think white is playable. If black connects, then White is happy with uh, this capturing. The actual game, um, when black played here, white uh, has weakness south side, so this call was very powerful. Yeah, white had no choice but to sacrifice the right side, but it was huge. It went to the upper right corner, it was very urgent. Black pushed and extended. Black plays so well. This is very um high level move, I think. Looks like it's simple, but uh, it's hard to play. Yeah, my student was in a hurry to reduce the right side, but um, white has weak group here, so white could have uh played on the center. Yeah, it would have been safer. Now, why can aim at the upper left corner? Why can attack this group? But probably my student thought like um, there is no time to defend the center. But even you are behind a lot, you can wait. You can take your time. Then uh, your opponent would make a mistake. But it's hard to wait, right? Yeah, this cut was very severe, so I think for white, white could have played like this more lightly. Yeah, I think this cut is also um, possible. Yeah, white didn't need to block here. This is the extra game. Yeah, pushing behind is not good. Yeah, white could have cut on this side. Yeah, this is powerful. Now that white has this or this cut looks very powerful. If black crawls, white is happy, right? This is huge. This is the extra game. Yeah, black could have blocked from this side. Then these two stones are captured, but uh, the opponent made a mistake. Now white captured these four stones, so it's good for white. But at this moment, my student played on this side, but it was too high. Now, the left side, this is empty. White can live inside. If black has one more stone, like here, then it would be difficult for white to live inside. But now there is no this stone, so white can invade. Yeah, I think this is very powerful. Black should go out to the center, then this is center. Then white can make a base. Now that white has stone here, this is helpful. And jump. Yeah, looks like white is quite safe. Then white can break the left side. Let me count the territory. White has 10, 20. 20 over here. 
this is not perfect, but uh, let's say white has 10, um, 3, 15. So overall, white has almost 50 points. White has 50. What about black? Black has 10, 15, 15. Yeah, I think this whole area could be 30, then it was 15. Yeah, I think white is playable if I can break the left side. But probably my student thought like this is too deep. White played high, but black managed to defend the left side. And this cut was very powerful because black has a strong ore on this side. Black attacked like this, it was very powerful. And the problem is the upper left corner. White didn't have time to save the upper left corner, but I think white should play here. No matter what happens, because this is so huge. This is a bit slow. And Black managed to play this move with Sente, so it was so good for Black. Locally, if I want to save the corner, this is normal. Black can think about this call, but it is not that easy. Locally, this move is the right move. This is the actual game. White managed to make two separated eyes. Black tried to cut. It was very powerful. Now we can see that White's territory is shrinked, shrinked here, and this is gonna be shrinked as well. But Black's territory is getting bigger. Black got this area, and Black can play on this side. Then Black can defend the left side. My student tried to counter attack, but um, this is misclick. Probably my student wanted to cut from this side, but um, even white plays here, black can break the upper right corner, something like this. This is possible because um, white has weakness over here. Yeah, white is not easy. If white goes here, this is sente, so black can push through. If white cuts, black can extend, then white cannot capture this group cleanly. Black can connect here. Then A and B are MI. Yeah, the upper two stones are in danger. So, I mean, even if white plays like this, black can uh, break the upper side, then black is ahead by a lot. Let me count. Here is almost 20 and 25. 25 and the lower side. This is almost 20. And here and here, 20. Yeah, black has more than 65. Black gained a lot, but white territory is shrinked. Yeah, we can expect this to change. Then white has total 25 here, the two corners and this side. Total, we can say 20, and then the upper side. If black goes here first, yeah, white can have only 20, then total white territory is only 40. Before, black territory was more than 65. In the beginning, uh, the start was not good, but um, the decisive part was, I think, uh, this move. White could have invaded on the third line. It would have been much better. Now. After this, Black's attack was very nice. Yeah, I think White could have played here because this is so nice for Black. Yeah, later, yeah, I think Black played so well. So 
even if my student played this misclick, but um, at this moment, um, Black was leading by a lot. Actually, this game, there is no Komi, so um, probably from the beginning, my student uh, probably got some pressure. I'm not sure, but Black player played so well. I think this moment was very important moment that my students started going wrong because this is so um, urgent. If your opponent plays so well, you can lose helplessly. So I don't think my students have to be disappointed. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.